This is Connor for Eyes Only UK YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to build a basic room for Google SketchUp 7. Um, this is the home free version because it is my house. So it's technically free and I'm using it for business purposes. Um, it's easily available from Google website. Just type in SketchUp on Google search and you'll find it. Um, what you need to do is um, boot it and select your template. So you can choose template and then select the um, simple template either feet or inches or meters whatever you prefer with I'm going to do meters uh, I'd advise you to do meters if you're following this guide step by step you need to boot it click on the man and delete him right, click on the pressing Dell or delete whatever you've got on your keys and you want to click on the square tool at the top and then click it out and drag it so you've got a 5 meter by 5 meter room or something that you quite like the size of using feet and inches because I can't remember the codes for them. And I'm just taking it out to five is now. Oh, it's at five, so. Oh, uh. oh nearly there. Five by five. Right, then we're going to take it up. It's cheap, click on the pencil tool, take it up five. And see, we don't take it up three meters. Okay, three meters along. We'll take that diagonally because it just saves a bit of time. So I was into the bits there wrong. Make it a bit of an off shape at this moment in time. Uh, so there's your three meter wall. Zoom out a little bit. And that isn't equal. There we go. Let's equalise that bit off. Okay. Um, and there's 3.31. Okay. Let me take the side up here then 3.31. Up, 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 up. Oh! Actually, this will make your life even easier. Click on that, copy that, paste it. And copy that side. And then we want to remove you know, this top panel. You click on it and then press delete it. Now you've got your basic room. Um, then you go to the paint tool and then select brick and cladding and select the brickwork you like scroll it round oh. click click zoom up and we'll put in carpeting carpets and textiles and we want basic walls, so we are done. And let's say, I don't know. Oh. That'll do. Colours named, and then select a wall colour you like. I'm just going to go for a nice bright yellow. your base basic house design and say you want to stick in a door I'd advise you just for now this is where this is all the open top and everything I'm going to build in a door and then remove it right, my door's going to be in the midpoint so I'm going to take that way out that's 5 minutes we need to find 2.5 so you need to do is you need to take it out until it turns blue like that that's midpoint so then we draw up then we find the midpoint from each side. Click on the midpoint again. Do the same on this side. Midpoint it. And then you got the midpoint there. And then you want the midpoint to be midpointed again this way. 
if I'm a midpoint or that midpoint. A bit difficult, this is my method, how I prefer it to be. Up to you if you find your own method. Be happy to put it in the um, comments section on YouTube. Okay, remove everything. And there's this side door. Um, going to then remove this centre part. Yeah. We've got an open door. Quite simple. So now that's a centred midpoint of the door. So you want to put in a, just a little bit 2D furniture. I'm going to put in a just a block sofa just to show it. So you're gonna find the midpoint and we're gonna scroll across. Back to there, across, down, down, across, across, up. Just got to really spin it slightly. That's the reason why there's these problems. Didn't do that bit there, right? Always best to look up on your stuff. Spin again and I'm going to click and drag up to the top. Always go overlap slightly, so at least I've got the proper cross margins. And raise and raise and raise and raise and raise and raise. And then spin. Click and drag. Put the box design. Now we've got our basic settee design. When you're starting off in your design, then you go in and you add. For instance, you might want to do uh, colours again. Click on colours. Sorry. Wait right, if that's allowed. Our base red sofa. Okay and. That's my base design for doing a basic room. Um, check back on the second tutorial and I'll be showing you how to build up a slight basic room with full furniture features. I'm only showing you the basic on this one just to make it more easier for understanding. Um, also one thing I'd like to quickly say is that you shouldn't ever remove the lines on the outside because that's what happens. Thought that would be there on, just in case you did that one mistake following one of my reviews. Reviews, tutorials, I'll get there in a minute. Um, that's about it, so thank you for listening and goodbye.